So this time for my mashup, I uh, numbered the bottom of each Glen Cairn uh, with one, two, three, four. Uh, poured each bottle into their respective glasses. And then once I was done with that, I uh, took a pen and paper and marked down uh, each number to their corresponding bottle uh, and kind of sealed it. So now it's time to mix them up and see which one comes out on top. Can't wait for this one, guys. Barrel proof. Here we go. Do, 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 do. How we doing, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Mash and Jerome Whiskey Room. I am Jason C, and I am super excited, guys, to bring you mashup number two featuring four of my most favorite barrel-proof bourbons uh, on the market today. So the contenders, as you saw in the beginning of the video, we have Elijah Craig barrel-proof. Uh, this is the B518. Uh, this is Booker's Backyard Barbecue, uh, George T. Stagg Jr., and Woodford Reserve batch-proof. So, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I uh, put a number on the bottom of each glass, poured them, uh, mixed them around, so I don't know what is what anymore. <laughs> uh, and then also, um, I've kind of arranged these in uh, proof order, so you guys can see what's uh, hottest to least hottest. So we have uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This is, comes in at 133.4 proof. The Booker's Backyard Barbecue is at 128.8. Uh, this specific batch of Stag Jr. comes in at 126.4, and Woodford Reserve uh, batch proof is 125.8. So we got some hot bourbons. There's going to be some, a lot of Kentucky hugs coming up, and I'm really looking forward to it. So um, I'm going to mix these up a little bit more here, just so we uh, make sure we don't know what's what. So these glasses have been sitting out for about the last probably 20 minutes trying to get all the alcohol out so I can um, you know, get some good nosing notes and maybe try to figure out uh, what's in each glass. Uh, I definitely don't know what's in there any <laughs> at this moment, uh, so they're all mixed up. Um, once I go through my four uh, initial nosing and tastings, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to each of these and then go through one more quick taste and, uh, and then start ranking them and see what comes out on top. All right, let's get started. So, bourbon number one, here we go. Or it could be two, three, or four, I don't know. This one's pretty dark, pretty, uh, pretty dark, amber, copper color. Um, I brought a pen and paper so I could take some of my notes here. So let's get into the nose on this one. Mm. Man, I love barrel proof bourbons. They're so good. So this one, I mean, as in most barrel proof bourbons, I mean, this one just punches through with uh, vanilla and caramel. You're getting some, uh, some really, a really good cherry note on it. I'm glad I let it sit because a lot of the alcohol is kind of out so I can really smell the bourbon now. Mmm. It's got some, uh, it's definitely got the, you can definitely taste the char or smell the char. Um, got some cinnamon in there, baking spices. Mm, really good nose. All right. Well, you can see there on the bottom of the screen uh, what, what I'm actually drinking here. So um, I won't know until I'm kind of done editing. So uh, at least you guys get to see it. So let's, uh, let's see what we got. Mm. Woo. Oh, there's the Kentucky hug. All right. So this has a um, this has a really nice. I mean, they're all going to have a really nice long finish, but this has a really deep cherry finish to it. A lot of cherry, uh, cinnamon, um, all those baking spices, um, a burnt brown sugar. Mm. So good. It's um, it's got a really kind of a leathery wood note on the end. A little bit, a little bit more bitter. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good. All right. So. I'm also be taking a couple sips of water in between. 
I'm gonna cleanse that a little bit. All right, let's go into bourbon number two. Uh, so this bourbon, same, you're getting uh, good caramel, good, um, good vanilla notes there. This one's a little bit more faint than this one. This one doesn't smell, uh, I don't get as uh, much of a punch in the nose as I do in the first bourbon. A little bit more astringency in this one. Um, almost like a cherry uh, cough syrup. Yep. You are getting that, uh, kind of that, that leathery note on the end. You're getting the, um, yeah. Maybe a slight bit of chocolate there. Mm, really interesting. All right, let's go in for a taste. Wow. All right. It's incredible. This one is totally different than the first one. Um, this one is, it's cherry cough syrup almost, but not in a bad way. It's uh, It's got obviously the long finish, um, a lot of wood note, a lot of leather and tobacco to it as well, which kind of throws me off. I don't remember tasting that in the, in the other ones when I had these before, but I'm tasting it now. Yeah, this one is, is really uh, up front with the, uh, the wood, uh, leather, um, cherry. It's pretty astringent. Um, you get a little bit of cinnamon in there too. Really good. Mm. All right. All right, let's get us another sip of water here. All right, let's go on to number three. All right, here we go. All right, so this one's a lot sweeter on the nose. This one's vanilla. Um, definitely get more almond on this, some butter. Hmm, really good. Maybe a little bit of chocolate there. Definitely not as astringent. So this nose isn't as strong as the first one, but not as weak as the second one. This one kind of falls in between somewhere. Mm, good, uh, good nose, vanilla, caramel. Definitely a little bit more almond forward on this one. Slightest bit of cherry, cinnamon. You're getting the oak. All right, cheers, here we go. Mm. Yeah, that is, um, that is cherry covered almonds and, and vanilla, baking spices. That one's really good. Um, it's got some, um, it's got a really nice, it's really got a nice finish to it. It's more cherry on the end, but in the beginning, it is just like baking 101 in there. Almond, maybe slightest hint of chocolate in there. Mm. Just a ton of vanilla. Oh, maybe I think I just got a little bit of hazelnut in there. Like, uh, like a little bit of Nutella. A little Nutella. <laughs> really good. Hmm. Oh man, it's gonna be tough. All right, this is tough. This is tough already. Woo! I am feeling that. All right, a little sip of water. And we're gonna go in for our last and final glass here. Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. Hmm. That one smells like, um, that one smells like just pure candy. Snickers candy, Snickers, uh, Snickers bar, I should say. Very uh, peanutty, more of a nutty quality to it. But you are getting still that cherry, a lot of vanilla, oak. Mm. Oh, that is good. 
really, uh, really a lot of a vanilla oak and stuff punching through. Um, it's definitely on the sweeter side, probably not as sweet as number three. So let's go in for this one. Last one. Cheers. Mm. So this one to me is a little bit more uh, licorice-y. Something I wasn't getting on the nose, but when I taste it, it's coming through a little bit more licorice. Definitely probably the most bitter out of them. Uh, but still, it's got a nice finish. It's really got a nice, it's really got a nice balance to it. it. I don't feel like it's kind of going strong in any direction, whether it be sweet or uh, sweet or, or, or bitter or even, or even getting a lot of that alcohol. Let's see. Yeah, it's, this one to me, I taste more, uh, more barrel char in this one than anything. Um, it's not super sweet to me. It was sweeter on the nose than it is on the palate. Really interesting. All right. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, little, a few drops of water to these. All right, nice. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these uh, kind of get that water in there, kind of commingle a little bit. And uh, after that, we'll come back, I'll do one more quick tasting, and then we'll rank them and see what comes out on top. Be right back. Hey, you're back, cool. Welcome back. Um, I am just sitting here taking notes, trying to decipher what I think is what and uh, what, what my favorite ones are here. Um, so these, as you know, I added water. They've been sitting here for about maybe 10, almost 15 minutes. Um, so as I've kind of, uh, kind of captured my thoughts here, uh, what I'm gonna do now is taste them again, but I'm gonna go reverse order. I'm gonna start here and go this way and, uh, and then come out with my final, uh, my final rankings and let's see what happens. So here we go. So this one, this one definitely got sweeter with the water, both on the nose and uh, and on the taste. It's still very, um, it's a little bit more wood and leather forward, um, not overly sweet at all. Good caramel, but. The wood, and you still get a good amount of astringency and alcohol, even with the water with that. So, I don't know, for me, um, yeah, for me, that one, it's, that one's kind of hard to, that one's kind of hard to judge. Um, it's very, uh, it's, it's very wood forward. So, let's move on to number three. This one is a super sweet on the nose. It's like candy. Hmm. That's nice. Vanilla, caramel. Really, really almondy, chocolate, cherry. That's good stuff. Let's go for a taste. Oh man, that is, that is so good. It's like, that is those cherry chocolate uh, almonds and cinnamon and nutmeg and that is really good. Mm. I'm really enjoying that one. Oh, this is gonna be hard. All right, next one, here we go. Number two, uh, number, well, three in this one, but number two going the other way, here we go. All right, so this one was my, uh, my cherry pie bourbon. There's just like all cherries to me on this one. And it got even more cherry forward now in, uh, in this glass. Some chocolate there, definitely vanilla oak, a little bit of leather. All right, let's go in for a taste with the water. Oh man, that is so good. That is like chocolate cherry pie on that one. 
Mmm. Is there a chocolate cherry pie? I don't know, there should be. Vanilla, almond. I'm not getting a Kentucky hug anymore because my entire Kentucky has been hugged by all of these barrel proof bourbons. So I think I'm good. But in the beginning, they all had a long finish. Uh, this is just purely going on taste now. Oh man, that is so good. So, whereas this one was super sweet, this one has a good balance of the sweetness and the um, and those really great oak flavors. So, I don't know, this one has a good balance to it. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be tough. Take another quick sip of water here uh, before we get to our last one. All right, here we go. Last one, guys. Ugh. What the hell, man? The nose on this one is amazing, too. So this one is just such a good balance on the nose. It's, it's, the, uh, it's the caramel, vanilla, hint of cherry. You get some chocolate, cinnamon, that burnt brown sugar. Mm. All right, here we go. Last one, guys. Oh yeah. Wow. This one just kind of keeps going. Mmm. This is caramel toffee, burnt brown sugar. Well, not burnt brown sugar, but brown sugar cooked down, all the sweetness coming out of it. Oh man, that is good. A little bit of that cherry there, still going, really good balance. Oh, man. Hey guys, all right, I took my notes. I was um, really kind of deliberating which was gonna fall where, and um, I think I got it. So now let's go to the results right here, and let's open her up and see what falled where. So, in fourth place, I had uh, Bourbon D, which was this guy right here, which was number four, which is Booker's Backyard Barbecue. What? All right, I loved Booker's Backyard Barbecue when I had it. Um, but yeah, I guess compared to the other three, it just didn't kind of punch me uh, like it did when I first had it by itself. So really interesting. Um, all right. Let's go to this one. So this was my um, third place pick. And this is number two, which is Stag Jr. What? Stag Jr. An amazing bourbon. Love Stag Jr. I love Stag, George T. Stag, but I don't have that. So um, had to go with Stag Jr. This was really good. This was actually kind of pushing its way into the, uh, into the top two. But these two had more balance, whereas this one was uh, really sweet to me, um, uh, which obviously is a great thing. But this had really kind of the mixture. These two had the mixture of uh, sweetness and, um, and wood and oak and a really nice balance of flavors I really like. So, uh, so now we're going to get into our top two here. So these are the ones where I was really deliberating uh, between these two. So, so what I kind of finished with was... This one was A being second place, and this one um, B being uh, my first place one. So let's see what, uh, what came in second, and then we'll know what came in uh, first. So, uh, but that means Elijah Craig is still in my first, my top two, because uh, Elijah Craig was kind of my leader in the clubhouse. I had a feeling I might pick it, but I thought maybe George T. Stagg would come out on, on top. I'm really surprised that Woodford Reserve is in my top two. Uh, it's just one that I've really enjoyed, but I don't know, I, just, I guess I didn't feel, maybe it's just this year's batch, it just, uh, it really kind of, it, it really came in well for me, so. Let's see uh, here, we got, um, so letter A was my second place, and we're going to check it out. Jerome Rowe, please, it is number three, which is Woodford Reserve Batch Proof, which means number one, 
first place, Elijah Craig Bowproof. Da, 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 da. Yes, there it is, folks. Number one, Elijah Craig Bowproof. So, again, my results. In fourth place, uh, Booker's Backyard Barbecue. Third place, Stag Jr. Second place, Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. And my number one pick, Elijah Craig Bow Proof um, B518. Wow, that was awesome. And now I'm starting to feel all the bourbon that I drank because it's high proof and I'm getting a little loopy. So, <laughs> with that said, I'm going to take my first place, Elijah Craig Bow Proof Bourbon. Uh, say cheers. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. Um, as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's about the people you share it with, like you. So cheers, everyone. Have a good one. That is so good.